Okay, so you're thinking about moving to Orange County and you want to know the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, there's not really that much ugly, but the pros and the cons of living in this great county called Orange County, well, then we're going to get to that right now. What's up, you guys? If you are new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to living in Orange County, the good, the bad, the ugly, living, sleeping, eating, playing, beaches, tanning, then you've come to the right channel. Please hit that subscribe button and click that bell so that you are notified every time a new video comes out about the lovely and wonderful Orange County. My name is Latrice DeLuna and we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day looking to make that move to Orange County. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in 10 days or 10 months, shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call, and we would be more than happy to help you with your smooth move to Orange County. So this video, is about the pros and the cons of Orange County, and I'm gonna give it to you all. But first, let's take a look at a map. Orange County is not as small as some people might think it is. It's actually quite large, and it's actually divided into two parts. Two parts, one is the north side, one is the south side, and there are some differences, and actually, maybe that's a video topic. Maybe we will get into some differences about north and south county, but that is neither here nor there. If you look at the map, that dividing line is that 55 freeway. That 55 freeway in Costa Mesa is what divides North County from South County. So pros and cons, let's get into it. Pro number one, and this is in no particular order, but pro number one, Orange County is very centrally located. You have Los Angeles County to the north, you have San Diego County to the south, and Riverside County somewhere above somewhere. Uh, <laughs> but it is very centrally located. You guys, you can get to Los Angeles in the downtown part of Los Angeles in about 45 minutes, depending on where you are in Orange County. And you can get to San Diego County in about an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, depending where you are. And I'm talking about like if we are in the center of Orange County, you can make that, that transition to Los Angeles County and you can make it to San Diego County, which is really nice. It's really nice to sometimes get away and you don't have to go far to do it. Pro number two, we are and we have some of the safest and most amazing cities in Orange County. I was looking at the list of the safest cities in California and Orange County takes six of those top 10. So you would be living in a very safe, very comfortable, very suburban -y area moving here to Orange County. Pro number three, we have an amazing airport. We have the John Wayne Airport. The John Wayne Airport is located in Irvine, right off of MacArthur and the 405. And what I'll tell you is this, it is nothing like LAX. If you've ever been to LAX Airport, it takes forever. The one thing I love about John Wayne is that you get there, you can park your car rather quickly, and you can get through TSA depending on the time frame, at the maximum about 20 minutes. Like John Wayne Airport is amazing. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you a little fun fact. If you are looking to fly out of John Wayne and you're rolling around in a Mercedes, I have a fun fact for you at the end. So stick around for that. All right, so John Wayne Airport, amazing. Nothing like LAX. Um, you'll get in, you'll get out, you'll get to, you'll be on time. Um, one of the downfalls though, I guess this could be a con. One of the downfalls of SNA is that it's not an international airport. So sometimes your ticket might be a little bit more than it would if you were flying out of LAX. Um, but to me, that's, that's neither here nor there. It's the best airport ever. Okay, so the next pro we can talk about is the attractions in Orange County. Now, we're not like LA County where we have a ton of those attractions, but we do have things that bring people here to Orange County that we all love and, and celebrate and like to go to. So number one, we have a baseball team. It's at the Angels, or the Angel Stadium is located in Anaheim, and so we have the Los Angeles Angels, and so that's a really fun way to build camaraderie, um, to go have fun, to get out, get the kids out, go to a baseball game, have hot dogs, have beer. Um, it's lovely. Then we also have the Honda Center, um, which is also located in Anaheim. So Anaheim has a lot of those attractions, over there, we all know another thing that's in Anaheim, right? 
Disneyland. If you are a Disney fan, then you love Anaheim because you get to go to Disneyland. And if you live close enough, then you get to see the fireworks every single night during summer around 9 o'clock p.m. So Anaheim is amazing in some of those attractions that it has. Other attractions that are here, we have Knott's Berry Farm. Um, if you haven't heard of Knott's Berry Farm, it is a um, theme park. And it has an area for little kids, which is nice. I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old. And I was told after we're done with Legoland, which is in San Diego County, um, very close in Oceanside. So it's not quite like far into San Diego. It's like a 45 minute drive from South Orange County. Um, but I was told once we're done with Legoland, like the next adventure up would probably be to get a season pass to Knott's Berry Farm because they have their little Bugs Bunny area that's for young children. So that's another attraction. And then we also have the Orange County Fair that comes every single year, just wasn't in COVID, um, but every single year to Orange County, which brings rides and attractions and all kinds of people to come and have, you know, fried food and fatty days and all that good stuff. Um, but it's amazing and it's fun. Again, good family friendly fun in Orange County. Um, and we also have a hockey team. We also have the Ducks. If you're into hockey and you wanna go have some fun, we also have the Anaheim Ducks. And, and you know what, I briefly mentioned the Honda Center, but the Honda Center is good because there's lots of concerts that play at the Honda Center. So you don't necessarily have to go into LA to go to concerts, you can stay here locally. And another thing that we have here um, in Orange County is that we have the improv. So if you're into some comedy and you wanna go have some laughs, you can go over to the Spectrum and go see one of your favorite comedians. We do get a lot of really good comedians here in Orange County. So again, that's just to name a few. Lots of, like I said before, lots of family friendly fun in Orange County. And if you have questions or you have an attraction that you love and you're from Orange County that you think everyone should know about, please comment below so that we can let these people know how amazing our county is. So another pro about living in Orange County is that you can literally get to the mountains in a couple of hours. So Orange County is very close to Big Bear, Lake Arrowhead, so you can get up to that mountain and go skiing or snowboarding or tubing, which is awesome, again, to get away. You could go rent a cabin. There are cabins. There's a lot of Airbnb cabins. Um, a lot of fun to be had in the snow in the wintertime. So you can get to the mountains within a couple of hours and have some good snowy cold fun. And I tell people all the time when I'm talking to them, you could literally go to the mountains and go to the beach in the same day because we have those varying climates. So yeah, it might be snowing up in the mountains, but it still might be 70 degrees, 75 degrees out here in the winter time. So it really just depends on the day, but it's amazing that you can literally go to the beach and the mountains in the same day. So that's another pro. Another pro about Orange County is we definitely love our hiking and our biking trails. And there's so many, they're so accessible to people and residents. We have Peters Canyon, Whiting Trail, um, Rim Around the World in Laguna Beach, the Thousand Steps in Laguna Beach. So many ways to get active. Um, we have the Santa Ana Trail, which goes, I mean, Santa Ana Trail is, I don't even know how many miles it is, but it goes all the way from Riverside County through Orange County. Um, and I think some ways into San Diego County as well. So um, for you people who like to bike and hike and be active, we are all about that here in Orange County. And I am uh, making a video about Peters Canyon, which gives you some amazing views of Irvine that you guys will be able to see really soon. I'm getting that video made as we speak. Um, another pro about Orange County is that we have a ton of gated communities. We are a safe, safe, safe county for the most part. Um, but I think that extra layer of like being in a gated community and a lot of luxury gated communities as well gives people just that little extra peace of mind when they're looking at places to live here in Orange County. Now, not to mention another pro of living in Orange County is that we have some of the most beautiful and best beaches nationwide like hands down nationwide. We have from the southernmost tip of Orange County, we have San Clemente, all the way, you know, the coastal shore, going the coastal shore way, all the way to North County, which we end at Still Beach, which is, which is the northernmost 
beach in Orange County. So in between there though, and we've all heard of these beaches, we have Laguna Beach, we have Newport, we have Huntington, um, we have a lot of beautiful beaches. Huntington's known for their surfing. Laguna Beach is just known to be gorgeous in general. Lots of weddings happen overlooking the cliffs of Laguna Beach. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beaches and weather. That brings me to the next pro, weather. Like seriously, right now it is November 15th, 2021, and it is going to be 80 degrees today. I love the fact that we're in November and we still have very warm weather. Um, we don't have seasons, which some people will say that's a pro, I mean a con. I love it, I, but I'm born and raised here. So I don't need seasons. I love the fact that I can wear pants sometimes when I want to, I can wear shorts if I want to. The weather's always nice. Um, like they say, it never rains in Southern California. We do need some rain, but it, we don't get a ton of rain, which is nice. It's nice to just be outside and that's what makes us so active out here in Orange County. Another pro is that we have some popular shows. So if you know anything about Orange County or you wanna know some things, we do have some popular shows. So um, The Hills and the, well, the OC and then The Hills, which was the spinoff of The OC. Um, and that's something that we, we call Orange County. We shorten it, we call it The OC or South Orange County or South OC, depending on what part you're in. But we have those shows. And then if you are a Housewives fan, we do have the Housewives of Orange County, which I would love to uh, interview and talk with and explore the minds of some of those housewives. So if you have it in, let me know and I'd love to talk with them and get their take of Orange County in general. But I digress. We have a couple different shows that were born here, right here locally in Orange County. And I would say the last pro that I think is super important uh, about Orange County is the housing market. Our housing, our home values tend to rise faster when the market is up and fall slower when the market is going down. And it tends to continuously hold its value at a pretty decent rate. I think that's amazing for people considering moving to Orange County to know that your property value is going to be a-okay. You're going to get some equity in your home, um, but if the market were to take a turn, that you're not gonna lose as much as other people in different parts of California and different parts around the world. So I think that is an amazing pro. So we talked about the good. Let's talk about some of the cons of Orange County. Now, I don't think there's a ton um, to deter someone from moving from here, but I think it's worth discussing and understanding some of the things that I think might not be so fun when it comes to Orange County. And again, if you live here and you're local and you have some things that you feel like people should know about Orange County that may not be so hot, please comment below. Okay, so I'm gonna rattle off through these. So some of the cons of living in Orange County is that we don't have a true downtown. I know there's a lot of places, Dallas, San Antonio, um, that have, in Los Angeles, that have true downtowns. There is not a city <laughs> here in Orange County that has a true downtown and sometimes people miss that like downtown feel. So I would say that's one of the cons of living in Orange County. Another thing is our state and our property taxes. Our state and property taxes tend to be a little bit higher than the majority of other states um, and cities around California and just states in general. So that could be a con to people that are looking to move here. Another con, and a lot of times, I have people that are moving from different states. A lot of people lately are moving from up north, but also east coast. And so sometimes they don't know about something called Mellow Ruse, M-E-L-L-O space R-O-O-S, Mellow Ruse. A lot of the communities that are newer here in Orange County have Mellow Ruse. And just long story short, it's an added tax, a supplemental tax to your property taxes that pay for the things that are in the community, the schools, the, the light fixtures. It's really... Um, it's really building the community off of the property taxes or the taxes of the, the residents that are gonna be living in that community. Each community has its own separate mellow roofs and it's like a bond, it does go away in about 20 years depending on the actual community. So mellow roofs is something that people are shocked by, don't know about and, and don't necessarily love when it comes to living in Orange County. Um, another thing about Orange County that you might find as a con is that you do need a car. I know people that are coming from the East Coast that are used to having really amazing transit systems. We don't really have that here to where you can 
efficiently get around. So I would say in order to efficiently get around in Orange County, you do need to have a vehicle, which brings me to my next con, traffic. It seems like traffic keeps getting worse and worse and worse here. We don't have a ton of freeways, um, but we have the five and the 405 and, and both of them, depending on the time of day, um, especially during the morning traffic when you're getting to work, that five o'clock traffic hour, it, it tends to back up quite a bit. So the traffic just kind of keeps getting worse and worse and worse um, as time goes on. Another con about living here, and I mentioned this earlier in the pro, is that we don't have any seasons. I mean, literally, you're not gonna get your true winter, your true fall that I see in other states. There's just, there's no seasons. Um, and I'm okay with that, but some people aren't. Some people really truly love having differences in their season. So that's one of the cons. Um, and another con would be home price values. Again, me um, talking to you guys about moving here, I would behoove me to make sure that you understand that. The home prices are typically going to run a little bit higher. Um, median home price right now in Orange County is about $900,000. Um, so if you're coming here and you're looking for something, you know, your average three bed, two bath, um, a little bit of a yard, you're gonna be paying in about the $900,000 range. Not, not to say that we don't have um, other affordable areas. Some areas are more affordable than others. North County is typically more affordable than South County, but our home values in general and overall just tend to be a little bit higher than the rest of, um, or than, than lots of other states. Our home values in general tend to be higher than other states, especially if you're moving here from states where it's just really inexpensive. So, um, that's, that's what you get when you move here. And lastly, a con that I would say about living in Orange County and me being a foodie is sometimes you're not gonna be able to find um, a bunch of delicious food. I lived in Los Angeles County for about six years and I was able to find tons of different variety of foods, delicious foods, it's just mouthwatering. And that's one thing I do miss about Los Angeles County um here we tend to have a lot of chain restaurants um and just there's there's not much differentiation in the food um you'll find your certain areas and you'll find your favorites for sure but that would that's something that i would say is a con so what i will say is this we've gone through the pros we've gone through the cons i definitely think the pros outweigh the cons when living here in orange county I was born and raised in San Bernardino County, bought my first house in Riverside County, lived in Los Angeles County, and now I've been here in Orange County since 2011, and I would not change it. I absolutely love it. It is diverse, it is fun, it's family friendly for sure. Um, and one of the things I told you I would say at the end here, oh, you know what, one of the pros, I'm so sorry, one of the pros, we have toll roads. So I was talking about that traffic that happens, one of the ways you can avoid traffic in some areas of, of Orange County is by having access to the toll roads. So we have the 261, the 241, the 91 has a little bit of a toll pass, and we have the um, 73. And those are all in South Orange County. And those, my dear friends, are so helpful when you're trying to get to point A to point B without having to be in all that traffic on the 5 or the 405. So that is also a pro of living in Orange County. So like I said, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. And so now, without further ado, if you are traveling and you live in Orange County and you're traveling, um, you know, from SNA, the Santa Ana John Wayne Airport, and you drive a Mercedes Benz, well, Fletcher Jones has a car service where you can take your car, park it there. They will shuttle you to the airport. It's about a five to 10 minute shuttle to the airport and you can store your car for free. We have so many people who drive Mercedes Benz out here, so I thought it was definitely worth mentioning, but you can store your car for free so you don't have to pay for parking. Whether you're gone for 10 days, 10 months, I don't know if people can stay for 10 months, um, but I've definitely left my car there for two weeks. So that is all I have to say about Orange County. You guys, I love Orange County. If you're looking to move here, please, all of our information is below in the description box. We would love to help you make your move here to Orange County. Until next time, you guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you again soon.